Genesis chapter 49, verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine and his teeth white with milk. All right, Shalom. I'm the brother Kadarma Locke, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shah, Bashem Kadash. Double honors to my elders and the apostles of Green Millstone. A real world that taught me this truth. Okay, and um, I want to get into a quick lesson. All right, and, and, and the topic is um, uh, about uh, the elect, man. All right, about your house shot. All right, join the ears with your house shot. All right, all right, the things we're going to do, man. All right, which is um, one, drink wine, man. All right, and I'm just going to uh, pull a few scriptures. This is the book of Psalms. Chapter 104, verse 15. And it says, And wine that make it glad the heart of man, and oil to make his face to shine, and bread with strength, with strength, strengthen man's heart. Okay, and if you read up a little more, it talks about uh um, alright, how your um how Bashim Yahweh created these things, man. Okay, created these things for us to enjoy. Alright. All right, the Lord made this wine for a glad heart. Okay, when you're feeling low, all right, for pleasure, all right, relaxation, all right, and heaviness, man. All right, when you're going through, when you're going through things, man, when you're giving your mind over to heaviness, man. All right, you can drink wine. All right, the Lord drank wine. All right, so there's nothing wrong with drinking some wine, you know. Okay, all right, with that, I'm gonna. Um, Let's jump to Book of Sirach, chapter 32, verse 5. And it says, A concert of music and a banquet of wine is as a sign, is as a sign of a carbon carbuncle set in gold, as a sign of emerald set in a work of gold. So is the melody of music with pleasant wine. Yeah, you know, uh, like beautiful um uh, um, stones set in gold, man. Okay, that's compared to music with wine. All right, because that's a pleasant thing, man. If you're drinking wine moderately, you know, if you're drinking, uh, uh if you're in the spirit, you know, uh, and you meditate and you're drinking the wine, all right, and you're balancing it out and you listen to, to some, some nice music, you know. Okay, that's how you know, um, the Lord created the wine for us to drink, man, all right, whether it be because of uh, the heaviness, all right, uh, maybe because you hey, you just want to drink you some, some wine, okay, it's natural, all right, let's, uh, let's jump to um, Sirach chapter 31, Sirach chapter 31, verse 27, and it said, why? Is a good wine is as good as life to a man if he be drunk moderately. Yeah, you don't want to um, you don't want to over drink. You know, you don't want to do too much, drink too much. It says, "What life is then to a man that is without wine?" Yeah, what is you know what what is what is life, man, without wine? All right, all right. When your house shot was on the scene, man, he drunk up some good wine. All right. So uh yeah, you know, but basically man, what hey what is life without without some wine, you know? Like saying what is life without dancing and laughing, you know? And it said, for it was made to make men glad. <clears throat> Alright? It was yeah, it was made to make men glad. Okay, it was made for us to enjoy. Alright? Okay, when you uh drink it moderately, man, uh alright, uh and then let's jump to the next scripture. It says, Wine measurably drunk and in season bringeth gladness of heart and cheerfulness of mind. Yeah. Uh, wine um, drunk uh, in season bringeth gladness of heart. Okay, wine is made correctly. All right, my, uh, uh, made with the best grapes, some ripe grapes. All right. Um, uh, and it says, but wine drunken with excessive, with excess, make it bitterness of mind and brawling and quality. Yeah, man. You want you want to make sure you're drinking it 
uh, uh, um, uh, modernly, man, or, or then you turn into a fool. All right, when you drink it too much, you you the loudest one. All right, you start uh, you staggering. All right, there's no balance in that, man. You, now you're just uh, being a drunkie, a drunkard. Okay. All right. So yeah, man, that's what wine was made for, man. It was made for us to enjoy, man. Okay, your yeah, house I enjoy it. Okay. All right, hey, hey we're, we're enjoying it, you know. Even though, uh, you know, we uh, over here in Babylon, we we drink the best of the worst, you know. But in the kingdom, man, we're gonna drink the best of the best. Okay. All right, when your house shot was on the scene. And he, he turned that wine into water. Oh no, Shalate, when he turned that water into wine. Okay, they bragged about it. Alright, they bragged. After they drank their wine and they drank the uh the wine that your shot created, they said, hey man, this is the best wine. Okay, this is the best wine we had all night. Alright. So hey, imagine the kingdom, man. Okay, we're, we're gonna enjoy, man. All right. Let's jump um, to the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 11, verse 18. It says, For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say he has a devil. The son of man came eating and drinking, and they say, Behold, a man gluttonous and a wine bibber a friend of publicans and sinners, but wisdom is justified of her children. All right? So, yeah, man, they, they, they tried to come at the Lord. And they called him a wine bibber. All right? Basically, the man, um, like he did too much. Like he drunk too much. All right? Hey, and that's what people, that's what um people do, man. They they find anything they can say against men of the Lord. Okay? Uh, look at him. He drink too much. He do this too much, man. Okay, when your house shot was perfect, man. Okay, your house shot had perfect balance. All right, there wasn't no drinking too much, or you know, the Lord know when it was time to. All right, when it, when he was overdoing things, man, he was perfect. All right, uh, let's jump to um Matthew chapter twenty six, verse twenty six. <clears throat> Matthew 26 and 26. It says, And as they were eating, Yahweh took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many of the remission of sins. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of the fruit of thy vine until the day when I drink it new with you in my father's kingdom. Okay? You hear that, man? The Lord said, man, hey, man, drink this wine up, man. Hey, I'm done drinking wine, man, until, until, until the kingdom, man. All right? When I, when I can drink with you in the kingdom, man. All right? Yahweh Shah said he's not going to drink with us until the kingdom, man. All right, so best believe this wine is going to be off the meter, okay? The wine is going to be off the chain, okay? And it's going to be new wine, all right? It's going to be new, different type of wine, all different type of tastes, okay? And it's not going to be um, it's not going to be for heaviness, all right, because we're catching hell, okay? It's going to be for happiness, man, a gladness of heart, man, because we're going to be so happy. We're going to drink wine just because we're happy, Okay? So, hey, hey, that's what we do this work for, man. We do this work to get the reward, man. Part of that reward is to be able to join ears with your house shot, okay? Hey, man, be under our big our, our Lord, man. All right? So the Lord, he's not going to drink. He's, he's not, he, hey, 2,000-year-old wine, man. He's holding on to where he come down, man. Okay? Jump to this next scripture. Let's get Numbers chapter 13 and 23. All right. Book of Numbers chapter 13, verse 23. 
And it says, and they came unto the brook of Esco and cut down from thence a branch with one cluster of grapes. And they buried between two upon a staff, and they brought up pomegranates and of the figs. All right, so they these were uh, two men with the staff, with a staff carrying grapes, man. Let you know, man, it, it took two men to carry us uh, some grapes, man. All right, big ripe grapes, man. Big healthy giant grapes, man. Okay, all right. Uh, uh you know, um, how much more in the kingdom, man? All right, when the earth is back, um, uh, growing everything like it's supposed to. All right, you know, being under so-called white man, everything, you know, it don't bloom like it's supposed to bloom, and it's not growing like it's supposed to grow. All right, but hey, when your house shall come back and heal, okay. And set up the kingdom, man. Everything is going to be new. Everything is going to bloom. All right. It's going to be new, different type of grapes. All right. All right. Like, uh, you know, even though, all right, on a low level, you got you got some nice wine. All right. Wine that we can't get to. All right. You got the elites. All right. They got their wine. All right. And you know, you know that wine. It got to be on some type of level, man. All right. Because hey, we, we can't even afford the wine. All right. But it's all good, man, because in the kingdom, man, we're going to have the best of the best one, man. Okay? Times infinity. All right? And it's not... Esau, well, Esau got nothing to compare to what we're going to have, man. All right? Jump to um, Proverbs 31. Proverbs 31. All right? Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 6. Alright, it says, uh, Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish, and give wine unto those that be of heavy hearts. Let him drink and forget his problem, and remember his misery no more. Alright? So, yeah, man, um, when you uh you drink, you know, over here in Babylon, man, yeah, we drink, man, because of heaviness, man. We drink because, hey, brothers catch hell, you know. So you, you drink a little more than usual, all right? All right, because of the, the things we, we, we catch, you know, the heaviness, man. Okay, or you, or, or you might just drink because you want to have a nice little drink. All right? All right, but because we ready to get out of here, man. All right, but the time is going to come, man, where we're going to, we're not going to drink for misery no more, man. Okay, we're going to drink because, hey, America is destroyed, man. We're in the kingdom, man. All right? Okay? Hey, and guess what? Hey, the heathens won't get none. All right? The heathens won't get none of this good wine. All right? All right? So, hey, man, with that, man, Lord willing, this was edifying, man. Lord, Lord willing, this was comforting. All right? And, um... Hey, you should say Akim out there. Okay. Lord willing, man. Hey, you endure. All right. So we can all make it out. All right. And get some of this good wine, man. We can all join ears with the Lord. All right. <clears throat> all right. As well as you send sisters out there. Okay. But hey, well, till next time, man. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to you. How about Shem Yahushah? By Shem Yahushah? By All right. Double honors to my elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. All right. Shalom.